हेलो बच्चो लेट्स रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन से डेट अ वन के जी स्टेशनरी बॉम्ब इज एक्सप्लोटेड इन थ्री पार्ट है पार्ट्स हैविंग सेम मास मूव इन परपेंडिकुलर डायरेक्शन विथ वेलोसिटी थर्टी मीटर पर सेकेंड देन दिलोसिटी ऑफ बिगर पार्ट विल बी सो वी विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी वट विल बी द की कंसेप्ट इज टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन द की कंसेप्ट दैट विल बी यूज to solve this question will be conservation of momentum now since no external force ejecting on the bomb and the bomb was initially at rest because it is a stationary so initial momentum pi that will be equal to final momentum now initial momentum will be equal to 1 into zero because the velocity of the bomb initially was zero and the final masses of the particles or parts are let let us call m1 as x m2 as x and m3 that will be 3x because the part, uh, mass of the parts are in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 3 now we have been given that parts having same mass move in perpendicular direction with velocity 30 meter per second so if we say m1 move with velocity 30 i k so m2 will move with velocity 30 j k because the velocity should be perpendicular and the velocity of bigger part let us call it as v so this will be equal to final momentum will be x into 30 i k So this will be thirty x i k plus thirty y thirty x j k plus three x b. This will be the momentum of the third particle, third part. So from here we will have three x into b that is equal to minus thirty i k minus thirty j k. Now If we take magnitude, sorry, minus thirty x i k minus thirty x j k minus thirty x i k minus thirty x j k. So if x x gets cancelled, so we will have three v is equal to minus thirty i k minus thirty j k or v is equal to minus ten i k minus ten j k. so the magnitude of velocity of the bigger part that will be root over 10 square plus 10 square that is 10 root 2 meter per second so the correct option is option a hope you all understood it well best of luck